In this q and I'm going to be looking at how electric vehicle chargers can tap into energy being generated by solar panels and diverting that energy directly into charging your vehicle and not relying on importing grid electricity or depleting energy from battery storage. And how this wave charge charger can charge your car using nothing more than an application on your phone. So be sure to hang on for that. So consumers and businesses are constantly looking at ways to maximise energy generated from renewable sources such as solar panels and ensuring the energy generated is sent to where it's needed most. So if we have a glorious sunny day and your solar panels on the roof are turning in good numbers for generation, then we want to make sure that energy is being diverted either to battery or in this case directly to an electric vehicle charger, meaning we're not exporting any back to the grid at a lower price to potentially buy back later at a higher price. So diverting the energy generated from your solar panels and sending it out to the charger is nothing new. Normally, we need a bit of hardware like a CT clamp, which monitors the current going into and out of the installation and a reference 230 volts into the clamp and a little software, normally in the inverter, which can divert energy to where it's needed. For this though, we need to have the electric vehicle charger close by to the incoming supply. So the CT clamp can reach the tails. So if your charger is located down the bottom of the garden, then the clamp might not reach. But be sure to hang on to the end of the video where I will explain a neat little feature with the Wave Charge Charger and that CT clamp. But what if you just don't have a CT clamp, but you still want to utilize solar energy more efficiently? Well, there is a way, and it comes courtesy of EV.Energy. This is an application on your phone which can determine your solar energy being generated and divert it directly to your car charger to maximize your generation output, all without a single piece of additional hardware being installed. So how does it do it? Well, let's work backwards and start with the charger. Your charger must have Open Charge Point Protocol or OCPP, just like the Wave Charge Charger that we have set up at Lineside Studios. So this wave charge charger is able to communicate with the EV.Energy application so it can be set up to run as efficiently as possible, which includes diverting solar energy directly to the car charger. But how does an application know that your solar panels are generating excess energy to divert to the car charger? Well, the EV Energy app uses a clever algorithm that takes in data from a forecast called a solar irradiance forecast that uses live satellite imagery and advanced weather mapping to accurately predict the amount of power being generated by your solar array. The app then communicates with the wave charge charger and matches the charge rate of your vehicle to the energy generation from your solar panels. For example, at the start of the day when the sun is low, your solar panels are generating two kilowatts of energy, and so the app tells your car to charge at two kilowatts per hour. As the day goes on and the sun climbs higher, you may end up generating five kilowatts of energy. The app will slowly turn up the charge speed of the charger to stay in almost perfect sync with the weather. There is also the Smart Plus Solar option where you can not only tie in with all the other tariffs available, but you can tie in with Smart Energy tariffs as well. So charge your car when the energy is at its cheapest from the grid and automatically swap over to solar when your panels are generating, ensuring your car is always ready when you need it whilst using the cheapest and greenest energy available. It's pretty clever. So back to that CT clamp. The application for Solar Plus and Solar Only will work as well with a CT clamp installed. In fact, it will be more accurate. But if your charger is located a fair distance away, then the CT clamp that comes with the Wave Charge charger will work up to 20 meters away. So there we have it. If you like the look of the Wave Charge charger, then you can head over to their website and sign up to become approved installers and also check out EV.Energy's range of services. I've left the links in the description below. But from me, it's bye bye for now.